so guys welcome back to our channel once again today on our biology exam revision series you will learn about variation so in short to stay till the end of this video as this is an important topic in your biology also at the end of this lesson you'll get a free biology exam revision question for you to test your knowledge so let's start by saying that different species of living things look quite different from each other but when you look closely to even organisms of the same species, you will also find slight differences between them. For instance, if I have a room full of people, you will notice a difference in their hair color, the shape of their nose, and other features as well. So these differences are called variation within a species. And there are two types of variation genetic variation and environmental variation so all plants and animals have characteristics that are in some ways similar to that of their parents this is because an organism's characteristics are determined by the genes inherited from their parents so these genes are passed on in gametes that is the sex cells from which the organisms develop so most animals get some genes from their mother and some from the father this combination of genes from two parents cause genetic variation no two of the same species are genetically identical other than identical twins so some characteristics are determined only by genes in animals these include the eye color, the blood group, and inherited disorders. So the environment, including the conditions that organisms live and grow in, also cause differences between members of the same species. This is called environmental variation. For example, a plant grown in plenty sunlight will be luscious and green but the same plant grown in darkness would grow tall and spindly and have yellow leaves these are environmental variation so most characteristics such as body weight height skin color condition of teeth academic or athletic powers and so on are determined by a mixture of genetic and environmental factors for example the maximum height that an individual or plant could grow to is determined by its genes but whether it actually grows that tall depends on the environment so let us consider mutations soon mutations are changes to the sequence of bases in dna just like we've discussed in a previous video, mutations can lead to changes in the protein that a gene codes for. Most mutations have no effect on the protein the gene codes for. So most mutations have no effect on the organism's phenotype. Some have a small influence on phenotype and so they only alter characteristics slightly. However, although it's very rare, Mutations can result in a new phenotype being seen in a species. So if the environmental changes and the new phenotype makes an organism more suited to the new environment, it can become common throughout the species by natural selection. So guys, here is a free biology exam practice question for you to test your knowledge. Feel free to pause this video and try it out so guys we've come to the end of this video if you are new to this channel please ensure to join our telegram channel using the link in the description of this video below to get instant updates and notifications for your exams don't forget to like and share this video with your friends if this video was helpful also ensure to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this thank you